Hey guys, this is Brad with ScorchBrass.com. As you may know, we do reviews on firearms, ammunition, accessories. What you may not know is that if we don't pass it, we don't think it's a good product, we won't recommend it. We won't sell it on our website, and that's our promise to you. We sell everything at the lowest possible price we can. We don't have very big overhead, mostly an internet-based sales company, and we all have other jobs. What this means to you is that we get to review something we love, something we really like, or something that manufacturer sends to us. And we're going to do that review. We're going to tear it apart. We're going to look at it. We're going to shoot it, see how well it's made. If it passes, we'll sell it. If it doesn't, we'll send it back with a thank you note, and that's it. And you'll never see it on our website. That's our promise to you one more time. Check us out at www.scorchbrass.com. Today, we're going to be reviewing the FN57 pistol. Originally designed back in 1998 at the request of NATO. They wanted something, another last resort kind of weapon, personal defense. The 9mm pistol wasn't, co wasn't, uh, wasn't meeting the requirements anymore. I don't think it ever really met anybody's requirements especially with the uh, ammunition limitations the military has on them. So when they sent out the request, the personal or the specifications of this item need to have greater range, greater accuracy, better terminal performance, be capable of penetrating certain soft types of body armor, have a magazine of no less than 20 rounds, and sufficiently, sufficiently compact enough to fit inside a car, fit inside uh, an airplane, uh, somewhere around the body as a secondary weapon. Gun is also steeped in a little bit of controversy. Uh, unfortunately, uh, if something's good, bad people are going to use it just as much as a good person will. So, what that means is people are going to jump all over this as a topic of discussion. Brady, Brady Bill, the Brady campaign, they feel it was originally designed or it was designed to be a cop killer. Uh, it has a high magazine count, so the moment you say anything more than five rounds, ten rounds, people want to start yelling and screaming in the streets. Shoots rifle rounds. Well, it's a 2.04 caliber uh, a bullet. I understand that, or unfortunately, that's what it is. So, uh, but it also works very well. Um, again, like we talked about, uh, one of the requests it is capable of penetrating soft body armor and unfortunately was used by the terrorists at the Fort Hood shooting in Texas. So once you got all those things together, you kind of get an item that a lot of people have questions about or concerns about. And instead of looking at people, they will look at items. You know, what was going on in that guy's head as opposed to what did he have in his hands. Until we change that, all these items are always going to have controversy. What most people do agree on the good night is it's very fun to shoot. It's an extremely fun handgun. It's a tack driver. Uh, it is a lethal handgun if you use it for personal defense, home protection. It's designed to shoot flat and accurately. So that benefits to you, your target shooters out there, your hunters out there. Uh, you can shoot it over and over again and you're going to be putting them pretty much in the same hole. Um, there's a lot of aftermarket ammunition for this. A lot of people say you're limited by the only of the ammunition that the manufacturer of the pistol. Well, there's definitely a lot more than that out there. Check out Elite Ammunition, Desert Ammunition. You come up with some great personal defense weapon or personal defense rounds um, and a lot of other kind of uh, varmint rounds, etc. And like I said before, it's fun to shoot. When you get it, you're not going to be too impressed with the case that it comes in. It's a cheap, plastic, flimsy, briefcase style case. We open it up and it's uh, very well designed. Uh, you can fit a pistol, three magazines, cleaning case, child lock, all kinds of stuff comes in that case. Um, but since most other shooters anyway, especially with this uh, expensive of a handgun, they're probably going to have a, a Pelican style case or another hard case that they store in for traveling and otherwise not. Well, it's meant to be due, stored top shelf in your closet or in your safe and the, uh, the original case comes in. Like I mentioned, it comes with three magazines. Extremely unusual. Nowadays, most manufacturers, in order to cut cost, send out one round, or excuse me, one magazine with each pistol. And everybody knows magazines are not cheap, especially good ones. So what this comes with comes with three. They're polymer, just like the pistol, and they fit 20 rounds. For those of you in California and other states that require less than 20 rounds, um, they do make 10 round versions of that as well. Um, it also comes with a cleaning kit, bore brush kit, 
pop it open, you have all the cleaning tools you need. The case itself kind of turns into a handle. It's a little flimsy. Um, I've already broken mine cleaning once, just the way the, uh, the two rods connect together to get back up. But it's nice to have all those bristles and everything that comes with it. Uh, it's a very light handgun, looking at about 20, 21 ounces, a little less. Um, so empty, it's, it's quite light. Uh, it's a full frame handgun, like I showed you before. It's a big gun. I've got big hands. So what this means is this pistol fits very well in my hands. Um, it's not a uh, it's not a compact by any means. It is plasticky. So what you're looking at is a it's all or composite. Sorry for using the wrong term. But what you're looking at is a plastic gun or composite gun. The whole bottom half trigger mechanism is all composite with a couple uh, metal rails inside just for support and strength. The top is a uh, metal metal slide covered with a composite over the top of it. So the whole item, the whole pistol, looks plastic all the way around. Um, it is a combat pistol, so it was designed with that intent. So it's very rugged. Um, it's not something that's going to break if you drop it. Um, it's a textured grip, and it was originally designed to be used with gloves. Again, this had a roots in a military request. So you look at a very nice textured grip right here, which it works well with gloves, without gloves. You also have a very large trigger well. So what that means is you can get your finger in there if you are wearing gloves. Um, the lefties, it is convertible. It has a ambidextrous magazine release on both sides right here. You just have to take that to a gunsmith or a regional instruction manual very carefully to switch that around. Um, it does come in multiple color, all pretty much military flavor. You got your uh, OD green, flat dark earth, and flat black. Um, oh, one thing I didn't mention when we talked about the gloves is on the back right here, it has textured grips with kind of like a nub sticking out. So what that means is when you have your gloves on and you're pulling back, it's very easy to cock. The front and rear sights do stick out a little bit. Um, Again, something that's designed for military purposes. It was designed originally to be used with the silencer, excuse me, suppressor. So if you have a can attached to this weapon, something sticking out, what you're going to have is the ability to see over that suppressor with, your, with the pistol, with it attached. So in order to do that, they had to raise up the sights. Now this pistol that I'm reviewing right here has the adjustable sights in the back. So that's a benefit for a target shooter. Um, but not a much of a benefit for a, a combat pistol if you're looking more for a home defense, something to throw in a glove box of your car. Probably want to look at the fixed sight version of this. Um, so on that note, you could, uh, if you use it as a you know personal carry weapon, the front of the the front sight post could catch on in clothing. The rear sight could be not jarred loose, clothing tugs on it, and it could make your zero kind of fade out a little bit. Um, it does have the internal magazine disconnect. What this is, is no magazine is in the weapon right now. Everything's clear. I can go ahead and release the slide. I put a magazine in, pops back. Nothing's going to happen. Again, that's a California restriction. So, functionally, it doesn't really bother me whatsoever. It's just something else you should know. Um, about the, the pistol itself, um, gets to stop a, a child from putting um, a bullet in the chamber and you know cocking it back and you know you have one in the chamber another way of knowing there's no magazine in there besides looking. Um, so I guess on that note, yeah sure fine maybe it's a little bit safer. It doesn't affect me because when I uh, have it to shoot, I pretty much always have my uh, my magazines loaded anyways. It does have an under the barrel Picatinny rail, so you can put a laser, flashlight, um, any other accessories that you may be looking at. And it also, one other thing that it does have is it has a, uh, a ball bearing that pops out. It's kind of a silver nub. See, uh, it's right about there. And what that allows is when you do have a bullet in the chamber, you can just run your fingers over it and you can feel it. Barrel's uh, 4.75 inches long, so like I was saying, it's a full frame pistol. Has a one to nine ratio twist rate, so it's fast. You can uh, shoot heavier bullets, higher grain bullets. Again, like most handguns nowadays, most guns and for firearms in particular, is it is a hammer forged and chrome lined. And when we were 
I'm going to pop this pistol open real quick. Again, really easy to use. Cock it back with a slide release, come, comes apart. What that means for us is we can get to one of the three pieces that make up this pistol. We can check out the barrel. And what it has is an integrated spring shroud around it. So what that translates to for us is the recoil is more straight back. You're not going to get as much muzzle flip. Now, a lot of people say shooting this thing is like shooting a toy. Um, if you've fired enough arms, you're going to realize that it, it, it's very well compensated how this weapon works. It's crisp. You're going to notice that. Um, but you're not going to get that muzzle flip like when you shoot a, a 9mm. So it's going to be more straight back. It makes it easier to control. Uh, even those uh, for those people, children or, or people with a smaller frame. Um, it's semi-automatic only. Uh, it's uh, double action only. Again, it's hammer fired. There's a lot of controversy out there and hammer striker. It's most definitely a hammer fired weapon. If you look back here, you can see the hammer. Alright? So that should end any debates right there. Uh, again, talked about the integrated the spring shrouding over the barrel, which makes this thing very easy to shoot. I mean, this is a very easy to shoot pistol. And uh, the three separate parts make it really easy to clean. Right here, very easy to put back together. Got our barrel. Locks up right there. Line everything up right here. And then we... That's it. Pistol is now fully assembled, ready to use. It doesn't get much easier than that. Um, so and it's also quite easy to clean with the, uh, the way the barrel shroud is. It could get a little tricky, just you know, get a Q-tip or um, a toothbrush and run it over that. But uh, just getting to the barrel is quite easy. Just dust out the inside. Now, one of the other complaints that I've heard, just kind of looking around when I was doing my research on this before I purchased it, was the lack of ammunition. I always said you have FNH. That's you get your ammunition through. They're expensive. That's not true. Um, for target rounds, probably right. It's probably the cheapest. Elite Ammunition came up with some funky BB shooting thing for it, for, uh, for target practicing. Uh, at that point, I'd just be worried about uh, getting one of those rounds uh, caught in the barrel and doing more damage, trying to be cheap. So yeah, you do have your FNH ammunition. You also have Elite Ammunition, which makes a lot of great, great rounds. And then you'll have uh, Desert Ammo, which also makes some very, very nice uh, rounds as well. Both or all three of those make great target rounds, uh, personal defense rounds, uh, pretty much anything you can look at. So there are quite a large variety out there. And I think uh, as this weapon system or this caliber becomes more popular, you're going to see a lot more, a lot more rounds in this uh, this flavor coming out. So I'm kind of personally hoping for a Chris Vector in uh, 5.7. Um, so again, most of the ammunition that you're going to get roughly between 30 and 50 grains so you can get some heavy ammunition I have seen up to 62 uh, I just don't know if I'm going to get enough uh, muzzle velocity to uh, push that heavy round through um, what you're going to also get out of this is you're going to get rounds that shoot in excess of 1500 feet per second um, sometimes we're talking 2400 feet per second out of a pistol and you end up hitting anywhere from 300 to 500, 600 uh, foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. So it is an extremely, extremely good personal defense weapon. That carry 20 rounds around anyway, so you know, what's not to like about it. So guys, this pretty much ends my classroom review of the FN 5.7. Uh, join us next. We're going to be heading out to the range, testing out different types of ammunition, showing everybody how accurate it is, how easy it is to shoot, the muzzle rise on it. Uh, so come check us out. Again, www.scorchbrass.com. And again, my name is Brad. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to email us, and we'll get back to you as soon as you can. Thanks a lot.